This game has six blue and six tan spelling rule cards, 56 picture playing cards, 10 bonus wild cards, four direction cards, and it has an optional teaching point instruction card, and it comes in a nice double plastic case. Also, before you play the game, I would go through the picture playing cards and have your student read the word. If they're not sure what the word is, it is divided below, and then read the sentence just to familiarize themselves with the, the picture playing cards. To play the game, you're going to set up two playing areas. So I'll be the blue cards and you'll be the tan cards. And then you're going to deal five cards to each player. Uh, I'll go first. The first word here I have is cubicle. That goes under sprinkle vehicle. And then I'm going to draw after my turn. You always want to have five cards in your hand. Phony under dolphin style. Lodge under huge bridge. Shuffle under constant Ellie syllable. Nice. And the goal of the game is to place two playing cards under each one of the spelling rule cards. And the first player to place two down under all of them, they would be the winner. When playing this game, too, um, these words like hassle and obstacle, it does end with a consonant L-E, but we want our students to see the soul at the end. So that would actually need to go under the hassle, whistle, cancel spelling rule. Same thing with this one, the coal at the end. It is a consonant L-E, but we want them to see that coal sound as in the sprinkle vehicle rule. So to have it be correct, we want them to be placing them under the soul and the coal. The free spot card here would allow you to place this anywhere in your playing area. So I need either one in one of those spots, I'll just place that in that area. And then I would get to draw and take another turn. The switch card here would allow you to switch a card with your opponent. So you place this card in the discard pile, choose a card from your hand that you want to switch with your opponent, lay it on the table, and then I choose one card from your hand. And that's very nice. Then, the remove an unlocked card would, we, would allow me to remove any unlocked card of his in his area and place it in the discard pile and draw to complete my turn. The remove, an, remove any card, the key card here would allow me to remove any card from his area and place it over in my area. So it can be either locked or unlocked cards. The difference between the locked and the unlocked, the locked cards have a padlock in the corner and the unlocked cards do not. So I need a card for one of these two areas, so I will go ahead and I'll take that card and put it over here, and then I would draw and go again for my turn. The refresh your cards, this would allow you to place any unwanted cards in the discard pile along with this card, and then draw up to, so you have five cards in your hand. I want to keep this card, but all the rest of them I don't want, so I'm going to draw four more cards, so I have five cards in my hand, and that would complete my turn. To win the game, you need to be a little strategic. So what I would do is I would play all my locked cards down first, the ones with the padlock there in the corner. And that way my opponent couldn't uh, pull off my locked cards because they'd be locked. The other thing too is that free spot card, you may want to save that towards the end of the game. That way you could fill in just what is needed at the end. Also to the remove any card key, um, I would save that towards the end too. That way you could remove a card that you need to fill in for your area so you could win the game. If you'd like to play a shorter game, you could just set a timer for a few minutes. Whether it be four, five, six minutes, whatever, you could set the timer for that. If you'd like to play a longer game, what you could do is you could set, um, have three playing cards under each of one of the spelling rule cards. So whoever would get the three cards down under all of them would be the winner first. First, I would go ahead and remove all the bonus wild cards, take those out of the deck. And then if you think your, your student could handle all the cards, you could do that. Otherwise, you could just cut the deck in half and just play with half the cards. And then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and uh, read the word smudge. What spelling rule would that go under? That would go under the huge bridge rule. And what I've done here is I've just uh, taken 
the other spelling rule card and flipped it over so the number's on the bottom. And once you've placed all of your um, cards down, expenditure, you could double check the number on the back of your playing card should be the same number that's on the back of the spelling rule card. I like to check this game out to my students for them to play between our tutoring sessions for extra practice.